So do you ever take a video and edit it in something like Adobe Audition, and then you need to merge it back into the original video? Well, doing that typically means going into your video editor and re-exporting, which is a pain. I do that several times a week, and I really hate doing it. So there's this tool called FFmpeg that can save you the trouble of doing that ever again. Thankfully, it just takes a single command, and it'll merge the two together in just a few seconds. Unfortunately, FFmpeg is basically a world of eldritch knowledge. It's super complicated. That isn't until you read the docs, then it starts to make sense. So first things first, you're going to need to install FFmpeg. You can use your package manager like Brew, Apt, Chocolatey, whatever. I'm using Mac, so I'm going to do Brew install FFmpeg. And beyond that, you just need a video and an audio clip from the same source. In my case, I've got a recent video that I did, and I'm just going to go into Adobe Edition and make some minor changes. Look, and from what I understand, they're already using it in production. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and merge these together. Here's the command. Now we've got these two inputs you'll see that it has a dash i file name. I've got two of those. The first one is the video, the second one is the audio. The order does matter here because it's going to reference those by the index of basically how it reads the streams. So that video is gonna be index zero, the audio is index one. Next up, we're gonna set the codex for both video and audio. And that's that weird dash c colon v dash c colon a. You might expect v stands for video, a for audio, so what this is doing is it's setting the codec for the video, for the output, to match that of the input source. And for the audio, we're setting AAC. Depending on your setup, you might need to use something else, but for me, that's what works. And then we've got these two map commands where we're saying from index zero, so the video source, we wanna take the video and map it to the output. And then the second one, we're doing map one colon A. We're taking the source from index one, we're grabbing the audio and putting that into the output. And then finally, we've got the output file name. So pretty simple, kind of an ugly syntax, but hey, it works. So let's go ahead and give it a try. All right, got to wait a few moments, and pretty soon it's going to be ready to go. That's significantly faster than re-exporting from Premiere. Now let's watch the clip. Hey folks, there's a new rich text editor called Lexical that just hit the scene. Amazing. I hope you find this useful. Let me know if you have any cool tips and tricks on FFmpeg or if there's anything else you'd like to see. And I'll see you in the next one.